Hey, fellow trainer, people of Poke Paper Pals and stuff. We're here to take on Flannery. Yeah! Why did I lose all motivation? I had five seconds ago. Damn it! Alright, wait, no, Punny Trainer. How good how good to see you've made it here. Glad to see not I'm not the only one messing up here. I haven't been I have been entrusted with the no wait, I'm Ah, screw it. She's the trainer. Uh, I'm the trainer. She's the gym leader. We're gonna battle now. And yeah, she's probably gonna skip over to the no, no, she does it all formal and stuff. Damn her for formalness. All right, I kind of hate how the sprite for her doesn't look anything like the damned picture, like how the art, like the art says it's supposed to look like this, and it looks like that. So yeah, not that this is bad. This is fine too. Flannery sent out Numel, level 24, female gender, fire type Pokemon. I uh, don't know its moves. <laughs> I do know that it's weak to any, uh, not anything. It's weak to ground and fire and rock. Er, ground, water and rock. That's what I meant. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go with double kick because that never lets me down. Oh god, it never down. That's what I meant. I'm pretty much over leveled here, so I won't have any trouble with her team. A uh, cool thing is, most of her Pokemon know the TM for or er, TM50 overheat, which is 140 base power. Amazing move! It does crap tons of damage, super lethal, and all that bad cool stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go with Ember because I know that thing has Flame Body, and I might get a burn on myself. I don't want that. I I really don't want the burn. Oh crap! I have to go for the burn, risking the burn because a uh, burn will cut my half attack in half. But it's the only way I can kill that dude, because he got light screen up. Light screen ma makes it light screen makes it so his special my special attacks don't do as much damage, y'all. Uh -huh. What am I doing? Four hundred experience. Back in my day we didn't Yes we did, Grandpa. Shut up. Okay, camera up. Fire and ground type weak super weak to act um, sorry about that. Super weak to grr fire wa water. Super weak to water. I am so delusional or something. I don't know what's going on. Oh, and grass hits it for neutral damage, and it survives! That is one bulky Pokemon, considering I'm... Ah, uh, crap, I got attracted. Damn it! Maddie, stop falling for fat chicks! Damn it! Ah, oh, totally just... Ah, whatever, he'll, he'll, he's not gonna get KO'd. I hile it out, it's gonna use some sort of rock top attack and do damage. Beyond repair. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have Okay, seriously, that thing does 18 damage in one shot. It's like 10 levels lower than, 9 levels lower than me. And it can also take my attacks, well, one of my attacks, and survive. That is a bulky Camerupt. Though I don't remember her having a Camerupt in Sapphire. I remember her having a Torkoal, which she had in the anime too. Which, you know, I watched the anime up to home and I just dropped out and so I was like, ah, F this. You guys are crazy, F this, Sinnoh sucks, which it kind of doesn't, because... Oh yay, now she's down to her last Pokemon, Maddie's not in that attract stuff anymore. Torkoal's defense is like 140, its HP is 70, that is a bulky Pokemon, even if it's only like uh, 7 lowers be below me, that thing is still dangerous. It can get paralyzed on you, and it can get attract, so that's terrible. Flannery is one of the most powerful trainers I have ever... No, 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 <laughs> no, no, there's many people before her, in trainer terms, but gym leaders, she's like Whitney, she's, oh my gosh, Maddie, damn it, don't die, yeah, see what just happened, she has overheat, 140 base power, attract, that's a status, attract can uh, stack with body slam, which causes paralysis, so, half the time you'll be attracted to her Pokemon, and you can't move, other times you'll be paralyzed, you still can't move, and then she has overheat, which does crap loads of damage, and her Pokemon's holding a white herb, which restores any damage done by um, overheat to her stats, so she gets two full powered overheats. It's like freaking well built. Oh, and to top it off, she gets stab on, um, what do you call it, that move, overheat. So I might just lose this battle, because I have nothing other than Hickey, and Hickey has a crappy special defense. I'm really hoping that the confusion will, you know, bide me some time or get some damage off on her, because I'm not going to be able to do tons of damage. Oh my gosh, no paralysis! No paralysis! Yay! Oh wow, his attack sucks, though. His physical attack's not too wonderful. That's why next turn I should be able to finish this off, unless she gets to overheat, in which case I'm screwed. Aha! 
although the strategy put behind the oh god dang it that sucks although the strategy is pretty good for the um oh, i hate you hyper potion you're so bad the strategy for the cpus isn't uh too bad but it, it's pretty cool the um artificial intelligence in these pre uh third gen games is terrible but yeah i'm gonna lose this battle i'm pretty sure i'm gonna lose the battle yeah if i get paralyzed one if I don't get this, yes, I'm not going to lose the battle. That is awesome. I kind of wish she had won just because overheat's powerful and she could have gotten away with it. But, hey, not my loss. Hooray, a thousand experience points even. That's cool. So now we've defeated the hot flaming gym leader, Flanner. Wait, Flan. What's the name? Flannery. I totally did not forget that midway because I wasn't paying attention. Damn it. Alright, that is five gym badges. That is awesome. That is just freaking all oh, wait a minute, that's not five, that's that's four. The heat badge from Flannery. So with the heat badge, all Pokemon you receive in trades or otherwise you because if they're level fifty or lower. Yay! Um uh what else do you get? Oh yeah, the HM strength now works outside of battle, so we can go explore the fiery path. And on top of that we get the TM fifty, I think. Yes, it's not. Why do they say the TM50? It's just TM50. Anyways, we now can um, teach our Pokemon overheat, which is kind of cool, kind of not cool. It does tons of damage, but then it weakens you the next turn unless you have something to fix all the damage you took. I don't have that, so not going to put that on anybody. But that's about it for this episode. Oh my gosh, rival battle! Ah, you and your greenness. So your rival's like, hey, long time no see. Oh, I visited the hot spring. Why was I not invited when you were at the hot spring? Damn it, I had to get in with some old ladies. It was awful. Ah, damn it. Whatever. I'm already, like, melting over here. Okay, so, yay. I have good Pokemon. No crap I do. I'm awesome. Yeah. Go-Go Goggles. I mean, they're Go-Goggles. I always used to call them Go-Go Goggles, but that's probably because I was misled by myself. <laughs> Go goggles. Now we can also explore the desert. So now we can explore the desert fiery path. And I'm pretty sure we can also go back to Petalburg City and beat up yo daddy. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. All right. So I'm cha challenging the gym leaders, but she's not doing anything except for randomly traveling. I don't even know how her Pokemon like get by because I owe at least uh, five levels on each of my Pokemon to gyms. I believe that's fair to say. Yeah. So, no idea how you get past these places without doing gym battles or some sort of trainer battles, because experience is important, and you don't get much of it without the um, gyms and stuff. Hey, let's check out my Pokemon egg right now, because, um, it's a Pokemon egg, and it's Pokemon egg-alike. Oh, it's not going to hatch anytime soon. That's unfortunate, but anyways, uh, I guess I'll just bind for time and teach my Lombre some HM moves. Which would be any of three of the HMs I have now because I don't care about Flash. What? You can't learn Cut? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was wrong. There are eight HMs. There's Flash and Cut. Those are the ones I would neglect. God. Flamingos. Yes, God Flamingos. I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to teach, teach Lombre. Lombre. Sounds Spanish. Probably isn't because it's a Pokemon and Pokemon are Japanese. But English names might have come from nowhere. Because I don't know where Nintendo of America gets the names. Because they just translate. They don't translate them. They like translate them and then change it up a bit. Like um, Garbo, 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 ah, Garbo. Can't say the damn name. Garbage or garbage odor. Garbo, Garb odor. Garbo. Damn you, Pokemon from fifth generation, whom whose name I cannot pronounce for some stupid reason. Balls to the face. Uh, strength. Let's see. I'm gonna forget absorb. Wait, ah, fudge. Fudge to your mom's face. I want fudge now. Not the fudge I'm thinking of and talking about, but the fudge that's made, um, I guess in stores and chocolate places and at home, I guess, with nuts and shit. Now I'm hungry. God damn it. Uh, fudge. I should probably. Fudge again. Fudge, 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 fudge. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna make hot cocoa, maybe, maybe not, probably not, definitely not gonna make hot cocoa. Coco! So we're gonna deposit Nincod, no we're not. We shall deposit Slackoth, because we don't really need Slackoth at the moment, and that's about it. I'm gonna keep Lombre, because it's my HM user. 
I just want to hatch the egg. That's the only reason I'm keeping the egg. There's no real reason. I'm not really using it. I just need something to fill up, fill up my plot. Oh, I meant fill up my fill up my party. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, oh, oh! You can buy. It is the most important part of this town besides flattery. Yeah. You go over here, you can buy revives. Those came in handy for the Flannery battle on my first run through this game, like as a kid. So handy, because I didn't know she had peril body slam for paralysis and attract, which are two very dangerous moves when put together. Yeah. I actually ran um a discharge body slam and attract set on my Ampharos once. I don't remember which game though. Nugget! Yeah, that is two nuggets, which is a lot of money, I'm assuming. So now we can actually go on and explore the um, Route 101, 111's. Um, hold on, please tell me there's a cave. Please, 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 please. Oh, ha, ha, ha. no, there's no Mirage Tower. I call it a cave, but whatever. No Mirage Tower, and that's about it. This episode, we're not going to go into um, further stuff, but it'll be so much fun. Next time we get to explore the entire desert with all a bunch of trainers and stuff. We might even see Mirage Tower, that's so fun. And on top of that, we'll be able to explore a fiery path. Not much over there, but it's kind of interesting. And then get to beat up your daddy during the next recording session, because I'm exhausted. Not exhausted, just like melting. Melting! Yes, melting. So thanks for tuning in. I think this is episode 25. See you guys next time, and leave a comment. Please. Yes. No. Wait. What? I don't know.